Good morning. I apologize about the terrible lighting. I have very terrible lighting in my apartment and I only get natural light from this one window so everything is just going to be darkness. I actually tend to surround myself in darkness. <laughs> Today is going to be a really fun day. I am all alone for the evening. Tom is out of town and I have decided to dedicate all day today. Today is a Saturday and tonight to writing. It's been my goal for a while to start writing more shorts and I really want to have a couple written by the end of this month. They're really good practice writing essentially and I have a couple ideas for spooky short stories but I haven't started writing them and have really no idea on how to start writing and how to formulate an idea so it's gonna be a full-blown brainstorming session where I throw a bunch of ideas at the wall and just start writing them and see where they take me so I thought I would take you along because brainstorming is really 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 hard and <laughs> I think it'll be really interesting to document this process before this writing day commences I do need to move my body a little bit so I'm gonna go for a big long walk we have this gorgeous area nearby it is a massive cemetery and I am gonna walk through it because it is a rainy misty day and is it weird to say that the cemetery is probably my favorite part of the city it's probably weird but it's just very peaceful and there's so many beautiful trees and flowers and it's just a really really nice kind of nature preservation area within the heart of the city so I love walking through it and listening to some music and there's a lot of old graves as well. It's really interesting to, to walk through and to look at the dates and look at the names and just take a big deep breath and be thankful for this life. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'm gonna go for a long walk and then I'm gonna get to writing and then I'm gonna get to brainstorming. And I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. I'm probably just gonna sit there and film myself and we'll see. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting so without further ado let us get the day started
that was such a good walk. I hope it doesn't come off as insensitive that I'm filming at a cemetery. The truth is that I walk there all the time and it's one of my favorite spots in the whole city to go and take a deep breath and I love to walk around the trees and the gravestones and read them and take a moment to just breathe. I don't I don't know why. I, I feel like it might be morbid that I think it's peaceful, but it truly is. And there are so many beautiful trees and there are so many histories within that place that I just find it really inspiring. And I hope, I hope it does not come off weird in any way or not respectful, disrespectful. I really, truly respect that place deeply, deeply. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm so connected to it, but I really am. And it was really nice to go there. I really like to go there with people, but I, I, I've been there alone a few times and it's just very peaceful and I can't help but stand under the trees and look up and just really breathe deeply. Now, it is time to brainstorm. So, how are we gonna do this? How are we going to brainstorm? Great question, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Don't know how much of my ideas I'm going to share with you because they're just seedlings of ideas and they will probably change and some of them won't be very good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try my best to talk about my ideas in a vague sense of the word and I'll take you through a little bit about what I'm gonna do. I'm really really excited because I'm wearing my Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt with the words think think. I dress up. I dress up for the task at hand. I don't. I have the worst fashion but that's not what this channel is about. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop procrastinating now. I'm gonna light my candle and I'm gonna do a little brainstorm. And I'll check back in later. try a fun exercise. I've never really written in this book. I think I wrote like one thing. No, I've never written in this book. So I think it might be fun to try a couple exercises where I pick at random some prompts and write about them. I'm gonna get my handy dandy little tabs and just flip through a little bit and see what writing prompts speak to me. This one's kind of interesting. It's right about a time you broke something. That could, that could turn dark pretty quickly. So oh, this is one, what is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? I don't know. I don't know if I'm prepared to write that story yet. Describe the most beautiful sound you've ever heard. Ooh. I just like, I can't help it. My mind goes into immediate dark mode. I can't, I, I can't help it. I'm going to see what the very last one is. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's a little anticlimactic. Have you ever cheated on a school homework assignment or a test? Do you still regret it today? Ooh, 
Write your own eulogy. <laughs> I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of what my eulogy would say. She had a lot of weird fun facts. I don't know. I'm terrible at describing myself. All right. Okay. We've got some flagged. Which ones did I flag? Right about a time you broke something. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Describe the most beautiful sound you have ever heard. I think we'll start with the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. That's the one I'm going to start with. I have started three stories. I haven't finished them. Just kind of jotted down some ideas and we'll pick them up at a later date when I'm feeling them a little bit. But I remembered while I was writing that one of my favorite assignments in university was for a, Cana a Canadian military history class. We had to write a short historical fiction story, essentially, incorporating research that we had done. It was a really cool assignment. I loved it, obviously, because it was a great intersection of the two things that I loved the most, which is writing and military history. And I decided to focus on the idea of shell shock in World War One. <laughs> I'm laughing because every time I ever had a choice to focus on anything in, in university, it was shell shock and World War One, and either that or the Russian Revolution, but basically all centered around World War One. So I spent weeks and weeks at the Library and Archives of Canada looking up field hospital notebooks from World War One, where the doctors who were in the field with the soldiers would write down their very quick diagnosis and basically what they did with the patient where they transferred them. And it was really neat. History is really rich. I did pretty well on this assignment, not gonna, not gonna lie, but I don't remember the story at all that I wrote. I know it was a soldier in the hospital and it had to deal with cowardice. So I am gonna read my story and see if I can pick up something from there. <laughs> this is, I just, it's, it's not, it's so interesting. It's not, I, I don't want to say it's not well written, but it's just so interesting to see the evolution of myself as a writer. That's all I will say about that. Hmm. Interesting. So it appears that this story is about the various treatments of shell shock. I think because of the nature of the assignment, I basically set it up in a singular hospital setting and compared different doctors treating shell shock in different manners. So it's a little obvious and on the nose for my taste now, but in fairness to past Megan, it was because I was writing a very specific assignment where I had to incorporate research. Very, very interesting concept. The idea of shell shock and cowardice in the First World War. Don't mind the idea of doing something military. After all, it's kind of what my book is about. But it would have to be a moment in war. And what would that moment be? I'm going to think about it. 
I'm gonna put that as a branch on my little thought bubble here. Okay, a mini update. I have written about 600 words that are quite incoherent and very messy and jumbled, but I feel good about it. I kind of wrote the basic plot points of the short story and I got all the way to the last line. So I think that's a good starting place. I'm feeling pretty good about it but I think I need to stop because I think I'm hitting a wall and I have done quite a bit today. I started and stopped like four stories, which is more than I thought, honestly. I didn't think that I was gonna get any ideas down. So the fact that I have about four working ideas feels pretty good. I need to rest my brain a little bit. I feel the tank is emptying slowly and I don't want to exhaust myself and then struggle tomorrow when I actually have to return to write my main story. I think it was a pretty successful day, truthfully. I did not expect to have so many ideas that feel like they could turn into something, so that is a great place to be. And I really did land somewhere comfortable with the very last idea, and I'm feeling quite good about that one, so I think I'll pick up on that one a little bit every day for the next week I will force myself to write let's see it's got to be 2500 words so I will write 300 words a day on this story for this next week and then I'll edit and go from there that feels pretty good um, I wish I could show you how I outline, but I feel like that's probably a little bit too vulnerable for me. I tend to just jot down random passages, random words, exchanges, and everything like that, and it's very incoherent to anyone except me. So I don't even know that it would be that helpful. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of an idea on how I brainstorm. I have no idea if it did, but I would be curious to hear how you brainstorm. So feel free to comment down below. I think that there's no right way to do it. I think that everybody is different with how they come up with ideas. I know some people who just manage to have the most amazing ideas off the top of their head. Other people, it takes a little bit of time and energy I certainly feel like I fall into the latter of the two, but today was a lot of fun and I'm feeling like I'm in a pretty good place to finish this short story by. I want to say I want to finish it around October 20th, so I think that's a good deadline for myself and we'll go from there. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.